Finally, so a string quartet pulls into a drive through at McDonald's, and that's ahead, but first time for Countdown's latest list of nominees for Worst Person in the World. And for the first time, I feel impelled to say that there is a chance that tonight's gas bags might actually be nuts. Please stand well back from your TV as I read this to you. The Bronze. Senator, Republican Senator Mike DeWine of Ohio. Republican National Committee TV ads for him there claim his Democratic opponent, Sherrod Brown, has not paid his unemployment taxes for 13 years. But the state of Ohio has now issued a statement saying that is not true, that Mr. Brown paid the unemployment tax bill years ago. But DeWine and the Republicans will not pull the commercial. So you guys would be liars? Runner-up comedian Rush Limbaugh told his radio sheep that the increase in violence in Iraq shows, quote, terrorists around the world, particularly these in Iraq, are voting Democrat today. Well, yeah, except for that internal Al-Qaeda memo that says it's in their best interest to keep us in Iraq as long as possible, so Al-Qaeda would be voting Republican, right, Rush? But the winner, former CIA agent Wayne Simmons on Fox News saying the football stadium bomb hoax was, quote, the perfect example of how vital the president's domestic eavesdropping program and the passage of the Military Commissions Act are. Of course they're vital, Wayne. They enable the government to spread false rumors about plots that aren't by non-terrorists that anybody over the age of seven and a half should have been able to see were crap so they can try to scare people into voting Republican. But thanks for admitting that, Wayne. Former CIA agent Wayne Simmons, today's worst person in the world.